Is it fair for councils to charge for parking at the seaside? The search shows the price to park has got very pricey. In Falmouth, eight hours of parking costs on average £12.10. Newquay, even more expensive at £12.30. And wait for this, Brighton, charging £24.20 pence for one day's parking. Wow! I mean, potentially that could cost you more to park than to get there. I know. And then you've got your ice cream, your candy floss... And everything and to go with it. Oh, oh Disney, dear me. So is it right for councils to charge to park at our favourite beaches? Charlie Rowley agree, argues that the fees are fair as councils need to recoup costs. Right. And Mum of three, Lucy Baker, who says high fees will put families off. Let's come to you, Lucy. Yes. Um, why is it unfair to charge this mark? Well, I think, you know, if you're looking around the £10, £12 pound mark, it's not unreasonable. But if you're going to be charged 25 30 quid to park for eight hours, you know, it really adds on to trips. And I think one of the points I want to make today is let's keep tourism going in the UK. You know, mm. let's support these local businesses that may well be struggling. Let's... And also, the, I think the other point I want to make as well is... Where is the money going? Let's have some transparency over where this parking money is going. You know, I'm a mum of three, as you said. Um, if I take my kids away, you know, got to factor in uh, going on holiday, the food prices, all of that stuff, as well as parking. Um, and I did say... Uh, I went on holiday to Scarborough last year with my three children, and it was free parking, so that was a really mm. great thing for me. I was and like, do you know what? I didn't even have to think about it. Yeah, and it made it good. So, you know, you're driving tourism away from our shores with these costs. But I do think we are, because um, uh, through by the seaside, it's seasonal. So, you know, there'll be in the winter months where there aren't tourists at all. So when tourists do come to these uh, seaside towns, you could be, uh, Ed, you could be sitting in your speedos, having too many sherbets, <laughs> slipping into the sea. You need additional services. You need extra lifeguards, you need extra policing, you'll need extra ambulance services, you'll need extra people there. So why, is the parking, why is the parking so, the bit that brings that money in? Why are we, as, as parents, having to pay that through parking then? Because that's just one revenue stream that the council that have to fund those services, that's how they'll get their money. So it's not a tax, it's not a, uh, a, a slap on the wrist of motorists necessarily, but it is one way. And the money doesn't just sit in the pay and display parking uh, machine, it goes to the local council that funds the services, that then also supports those businesses that you were just talking about mm. in those off... Uh, uh, the off-seasonal months, so, you know, through re re reduced business rates. So businesses can continue during the winter well, months and you can create revenue during the summer months. Some families are going on these holidays and not knowing about this parking as well. So you sort of turn up to your mm. beachside beach resort, you've got your accommodation booked, you turn up, then it's like, OK, it's going to cost you 25 quid to park for eight hours or but something. But if the parking's That's cheap, there'll be a long queue. Well, I mean, is there really going to be that much of a long queue? That's debatable, I think. But Well, look, we asked you in our Twitter poll um, whether you thought it was fair or not. 47% of you said you did think it was fair. 53% of Ow. you said no, so it's quite a... Uh, yeah, because it's quite families close. that are going. Let's, th let's put it into perspective. It's families that are going on these but holidays. But the cost can't just you know? be laid for the local people. It's people that are...